Hey bosses, it's Nina. So Active Campaign is releasing a new interface. Now I started by um, recording this and comparing the old and the new, but then I found out that it's really that they just added a lot of features um, to, excuse me, they didn't add a lot of features. They added a lot more functionality to their navigation so it's easier to get around. So I am gonna show you really quickly the difference in the look and feel um, besides that, I don't see much difference, but I am very, very satisfied with the updated look and feel and the user interface. You can tell that they concentrate it more on less clicks, which is my goal in life to do everything in two clicks or less. Anyways, so you'll see that originally everything was at the top. I'm just going to start here so they look the same. Everything was at the top as far as navigation. You can create a list. And I'm actually going to expand this so I can show you that if I go to something like contacts and I want to go between managing the score, managing tags, and managing um, the organizations, it has to refresh the screen and I have to do the drop down here. Now, one thing I notice is a lot of people don't see these features in each of these different areas because the navigation is kind of um, in the corner and people overlook that. So what Active Campaign has done, sticking with the contacts, is if you look, now the navigation is on the left-hand side and it is something where you're kind of expanding the menu. So now that we're in contacts, right, you'll see all of the options that you saw before. So I'm just gonna pull this back over so you see. All of these options have been moved to this area, okay? It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're navigating and you're going through each of the options, it's just a lot easier and it looks like the loading is a lot faster. So um, I'm really excited about that. Yes, I'm a nerd. I'm excited about a lot of things. Um, I went through a lot of the different um, areas. So uh, again, I'm in contacts. I can go to campaigns a lot easier with the navigation. But um, what I've noticed is that it seems like it's loading faster. Also that any of the items that you may have missed before are just a little bit more visible. So these are all the same, they have the same pop-ups, all of that. But as I'm going through and I wanna manage my templates, it's actually right here in front of me. I don't have to do a couple clicks. For those of you that are not using templates, oh my goodness, why are you not using templates? I use templates, I save templates, I recreate them, change them, really, really easy, okay? This is a good time to tell you that I do have a separate video that goes over um, automations. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll leave the link below and also in the I, um, in the book above. Okay, so you can go through here and change your message or manage your message variables, um, your archived items. So I'm going to go through. Let's see. So automations again. None of this. These are not new features, they're just easier to get to. If you haven't used Active Campaign, now is the time to jump in. They just released about 12 or 13 different features or integrations, and I'll go through the integrations in just a second. But one of the things I'm noticing is that um, Active Campaign is making it easier and easier to integrate with apps. So some of the apps are directly from Zapier. Um, and some of them are uh, direct integrations, but they're becoming easier and easier. So I suspect that this move to make the navigation easier is also probably one step closer to um, integrating with apps a little bit better and doing some other improvements. Usually when you see a new release from a company, it means that they're preparing for other releases when it's something as big as this as changing the navigation. Okay. So again, um, this is where you go into your list. So I created a list here. Um, and as you're navigating, yeah, it just looks like they pulled the, um, the links out so you can kind of navigate a little bit better. I can quickly jump in between um, the different screens, okay? Um, I don't use deals too much. Uh, deals is a CRM portion of Active Campaign. Active Campaign is an automation tool, right? And it has a CRM in it, but it doesn't have all the features and functionality that I need. Um, I've implemented a lot of CRMs, so there's certain features that I want that I assume that they're moving towards. Okay, the other thing um, 
I do love Active Campaign. One thing that they're lacking in is reporting. Um, they do have some reports here, general reports, contact reports. But what I love is that they have these apps integrations. I'm going to go to the bottom left hand corner. And they have a lot of different integrations and they're working on more. So on the left hand side, you'll see popular apps. Right. You can integrate your Facebook pixels and Facebook audiences in here, which is great. They also have a tool that I'm actually checking out. I think it's called Big something, but it's analytics. Hold on. Big picture and it's analytics um, that I'm actually checking on. Um, it just seems really good. So they have a lot of integrations with free apps and paid apps. Um, click their newest apps every once in a while because you'll see that now they're integrating more with Slack. I love Slack. Airtable, one of my favorite things in the world. Zoom is now um, an integration, a couple of other things. One of the things I urge you to do is always search one of the app uh, for the applications you need um, after you've purchased the application. So for instance, active campaign is automation, right? But you know, you're going to need something for texting and actually crystal in my group brought this up. So I might put in text here and you'll see that they have an app. I thought they had an app here. It goes. Um, one of the ones that I love is the sales message. I've seen this, I don't use it, but, um, I have seen this in action and it's supposed to be a really, really good app for two way messaging with your team. But there's other apps that you can look for on the left hand side. You can integrate with almost anything. So again, this is just a quick overview. It looks like with this new kind of setup that they didn't necessarily introduce new features yet, but they are um, just making the navigation easier. The apps, the settings, all of these things before were under um, kind of hidden under other menus. All right. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I will be introducing an active campaign automation um, video uh, to my learned it dot online. So you can head it head over to learned it dot online. That's my online school for entrepreneurs. If you have any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Love you. Ciao.